Yes, welcome. We are going to be learning about stress. The syllable in the previous class we learned about what a syllable is, but what did we say syllable is? Syllable is the word or part of the word which contains a single forward sound. That contains a single forward sound, but yes. that is a unit of speech, isn't it? Yes. The sound that you hear. That's a syllable. I would say some words are monosyllabic, some are bisyllabic, isn't it? Some contain even up to four to five syllables, isn't it? Example, when we say minara, how many syllables is in minara? How many? Three syllables. So which of this syllable is the one that contains the stress? Which of this syllable do we pronounce louder when we call minara? Which one? So anyone that sounds louder is the one with the word stress. Is the one with the word. That's what we say. The syllable that is pronounced with more strength or louder is the stressed word syllable. Is the stressed word syllable. So Jam is going to ask you, in which of the syllable of the following word is the stress? We'll give you option. You will not pick out the one that has the stress. Is that clear? Now, how do you identify the syllable with the stress? Number one rule is that. A monosyllabic word. Which one is the monosyllabic word? A word that has only one single word. Stress. Example is pen or you, isn't it? So a monosyllabic word has stress on the word generally. You understand? So the stress is on all the word. Pen. Is that clear? Now, you have to know that stress is only seen on a word with vowel sound, not consonant. Is that clear? Stress can only be seen on a word with the vowel sound. Is that clear? Like this one, when we said pen has a monosyllabic, is a monosyllabic word or has a syllable, is because of the which letter. We talk about which letter? Yes. Huh? Which of these letters that made it a syllable? The e. the e. Because of the E in the pen e, e sound. You know that P is a consonant. P is a what? Is it not a consonant? Yes, a N is a what? But E is a what? E, the S sound. Pen. The same thing with U. The U here is a vowel, isn't it? Yes. But the Y is a what? Consonant. So make sure that you are looking at, you must see a, a consonant, a vowel sound before you say that that is a syllable, is it not? Because it's the vowel that, pron that brings out the pronunciation, that brings out the sound, the speech sound, is that clear? So we are going to check out the rules, write those things out. Let's check out the rules. So after knowing these simple two rules, we are going to note the following in our stressing. We are going to note the word following in our stressing. Number one is two syllable noun and adjective. Two syllable words, noun, nouns and adjectives. Two syllable nouns and adjectives. In most two syllable nouns and adjectives, comma, the first syllable, the first syllable text the stress. That's the first rule. Is that clear? Yes. In most two syllable nouns and adjectives, the first syllable take the stress. The first syllable take the word stress. Example. Example. Samples. Samples. The word samples. Where is the syllable? Some is it not? Yes. The word carton, carton, the word carton. Where is the stress? Uh, Where is the stress? 
The word colorful. Although this one is a three syllables word, so let me remove it. The word rainy. Where is the syllable? Rainy. Is that clear? So why are the syllables, why are the stress on the first syllable? On the first syllable, why? Why? Because Ruwa says that the most two syllable nouns are additive. You understand? The first syllable takes the word stress. This is an adjective or a noun. You understand? All these are additives or noun. Nouns are what? Names of person, places, animal or thing, isn't it? Then adjectives are what? Qualifiers for noun, isn't it? Now we have samples. Samples is a noun, isn't it? So the, the stress will be on the word first syllable, which is sound. Carton is a noun, isn't it? It's name, name, name of something, isn't it? So the syllable, first syllable is cap and it has the stress. Rainy is telling us that the day is rainy. You understand? Yes. So the first syllable. So how many syllable words are these? So two syllables, is it okay? Samples. Samples, isn't it? Yes. Cap, tongue, two syllables. Rainy. Is that clear? Yes. So every two syllable word that is now, that is a now or additive. And we've learned what nouns are, isn't it? We've learned what additives are. I told you that when we are learning it, that very soon we'll start making use of them. So if you don't know what now and additive mean, or if you don't know what they are, you, you will not know the one that has two syllables, or you will not even understand, isn't it? So that's why it's good you know. So all these things are examples of now. These two are now, whereas this one is what? Adjective. And they are two syllables. And the rule says that whenever there are two syllables now, adjective. Now you should put the stress on the first word, syllable. You should put the stress on the first word, syllable. Is that clear? Yes. Give me another example of two syllable word, noun or adjective, so that we can play the syllable. Huh? Huh? Matter. Maka. 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 Isn't it? So where is this stress? Ma. Ma. Marker, marker. Another person, give me another example. Anger. Anger. Anger is here now. Or oh, additive. What is anger? Now. Anger is here now. You understand? Yes. So where is the uh, where is the this thing? Ang. Anger. You understand? Yes. Give me another example. Market. Market. Good. Ma. Key. That is the, uh, this thing. Yeah. Ma. Yeah. You see, ma. All the syllables are two, and it's either now or pronoun. Make sure that the, this thing is on the word first syllable. It's on the word first syllable. Now we we'll pick another example. Can I clean up the board? Yes. So pick rule number two. Rule number what? Two. Rule number what? Two. Two syllable verb or preposition. Two syllable verb or two preposition. The first rule says two syllable noun or what? Adjective. This one is saying two syllable verb or what? Preposition. Two syllable verbs or preposition. In most Two syllable verbs or preposition. The second, the second syllable takes the stress. The second syllable takes the word stress. You see that this is the opposite of the first. Rule, isn't it? Yes. This is for verbs and preposition. Example. Example. Relax. Somebody is telling you to relax. Relax is it a verb or a noun or a pronoun? It's a verb. Relax. Another example. Receive. 
rain. Rain what? Receive. Receive. Another example. Please direct him on the, the right things to do. Direct. Another example. Can you see? Can you see that? Yes. Exactly. Yes. Ray. Lax. Where is the stress? Lax. On the second syllable, isn't it? Yes. The rule says that the second syllable take the stress. Yes. The rule says that what? Yes. The second syllable take the stress for verbs and what? Preposition. For verbs and what? Preposition. Every two syllable verb or preposition. The second syllable takes the word stress. Relax. Receive. Direct. Who can give me another example? Enjoy. Yeah? Enjoy. 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 Is that clear? Yes. Enjoy. It's trying to tell you to end what? Enjoy. Give me another example. Increase. Increase. In you are telling him to increase it. But there is another word, increase. Increase is a word. Increase is a word. Increase is a, is a noun. But increase is a word. Verb. You are telling somebody to increase something. Increase it. I want you to increase the number. Increase. This is what verb. So the this thing is on the word. Is on the second one. But when you say increase, this thing is an increase. You understand? Increase. An increase from what we had before. This is an increment or an increase. You understand? Increase. Just like we have advice and advice. Just like we have what? Advice. When you say add advice, you are giving somebody an advice. You understand? Yes. Advice. Then you are telling advice her. Add what? Advice. This one is a what? No. Huh? No. Now. That's why it has it on the first one. Just like with them. But this one, advise him. This one is a what? No. So it's on the second one. So you have to be careful where the word is placed. Is that clear? You have to be careful how the sentence is made. So that you can pick out whether it's a noun or a word verb. One word can serve as a noun and as a word verb, but depending on how you use it, you understand. Yeah. Is that clear? Yes. Are we together? Yes, sir. Can I go forward? Yes, sir. Now, rule number three. Three syllable words, isn't it? Three syllable words are stressed. Three syllable words. Three syllable words are stressed. Looking at the suffix. You know what suffix is? The syllable ending them, isn't it? The syllable ending them, so okay. According to the according to the following rules. Three syllable words. Three syllable words are stressed looking at the suffix according to the following rules. According to the following word rules. Number A, words ending with words ending with E R O R and L O Y. Words ending with E R O R and L O Y are stressed. Are stressed by are stressed at the first syllable. Can you see that? 
words ending with er, or, ly are stressed at the first syllable. Words ending with er, or, ly are stressed on the what? First syllable. On the what? First syllable. On the what? First syllable. Let's see. Di director. Director. Can you see that word? Director. Or orderly. Orderly. Can you see that word? Ma ne ja. Manager. Can you see that word? This one is ending with what? O R, isn't it? Ending with L O I, isn't it? Ending with E R. So all of them are stressed on the word four syllables. You understand? Yeah. Every three syllable word, every three syllable word that ends with E R, O R, L Y, are stressed on the word four syllables. Is that clear? Yeah. This is three syllable word, isn't it? Because it's pronounced as director, or dali, manager. Is that clear? Is that clear? No, there are plenty of other suffix. So you understand? Yes, yes. Yes. So there are other ones. You understand? Have you written it down? Please write it down. It's not only those ones that express on the first, you understand? Also, consonants that, uh, three syllables words that end with the consonant Y. You can also stress them in the first syllable. Is that clear? Is that clear? Yes, sir. Have you written it down? Yes, sir. So, as a continuation of this one that we've learned, you understand? Also, words ending with consonant, consonant sound Y. Is that clear? Three syllables were ending with consonant sound word Y. Are stressed on the last word. Syllable as stressed on the first first word syllable first word syllable example rarity rarity exactly optimal 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 exactly gradient gradient Gradients. Is that clear? Container. Con. Te. Na. Container. You also stress it on the first word. Is that clear? Is that clear? Words ending with Y. Uh, these other words. See, this one is ending with ER. Just like we said before, is it not? ER. It also ends with and such other words as this. Is that clear? Yes. 